All right, welcome back to the channel. So Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter is likely going to go to purse bid, and it is in a situation where either the zone or Triller could could steal the fight. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. I am really, really excited about this fight between Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter and hoping beyond hope that this fight can actually get made. Um, the two parties were ordered by the W, uh, maybe about three weeks back, the WBO had ordered a fight between Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter for the for their WBO title, the WBO title that is held by, by Terrence Crawford. And the two parties went into negotiation. But as I've reported before, it looks like these two parties are not going to be able to come to a conclusion um, together in order to make this fight, which I think that that would be an absolute shame because then it throws this fight into chaos. And this is one of the best fights that I could have expected to be to have seen out of Terrence Crawford for certain this year and Sean Porter, both of these guys. We're in a situation where this is one of the best, the best fights that, that they could expect to get made. And it's unfortunate that the two parties can't come to an agreement uh, with one another. Um, for Terrence Crawford, this would be his first opportunity to have a real major showdown at 147 pounds with a legitimate opponent that people would not look down on people wouldn't turn their nose at and, and say man terrence crawford you don't ever fight anybody right now terrence crawford is in on many people's pound for pound list and he's on my pound for pound list honestly i've i used to have a little bit of an issue with him because of you know the fact that he's not fighting anybody and he said he didn't want to fight errol spence jr he said he didn't he you know he was going to force sean porter to have to become the mandatory to get the fight so you know, not particularly happy with the moves that um, that Sean, that Terrence Crawford had been making. So I moved him out of my top ten pound for pound, um, out of my number one position in the pound for pound. But that's purely out of spite. For me, really, he's the number one pound for pound fighter in the world because of what he's done at 135 pounds, what he's done at 140. But what he's done at 147 has just been very, very lacking. Whether you attest that, whether you can, you know. Uh, say that the reason for that is his own personal desire not to fight somebody or whether it is his the inability of his promoter top rank to get him a legitimate competition whatever the case is Terrence Crawford hasn't been fighting anybody and honestly when you look at his whole career there is an argument to be made that he's only really had two fights in his career that people maybe three fights in his career that people were really you know, thought, oh, okay, I don't know who's going to win this fight. And only two of them, I would think, are really major fights. Because one, Ricky Burns was very early in his career when he first won his 135-pound lightweight title, the WBO uh, lightweight title uh, from Ricky Burns when he traveled over to the UK uh, to fight him there. But Or uh, um, Yuri Yokas Gamboa or, or Victor Postal. Those are the ones that can be really considered his major fights. Um, this would be an opportunity for him to, to have, and also hopefully to have a pay-per-view that is bigger than the other pay-per-views that he had. Cause he's been on pay-per-view two times, one with Brooke and one with, um, post, uh, oh, excuse me, one with Khan and one with post all, which were lackluster pay-per-views because they just weren't really exciting fighters, you know, that people really wanted to see. But in this particular incident, top rank and, and the PBC were fight were negotiating for hopefully a pay I think it's worthy of being a pay-per-view or think it's a pay-per-view that it will actually attract people to spend their money because Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter are definitely two of the top welterweights and the welterweight division is the hottest it's the most stacked division in boxing with Errol Spence Jr. Manny pa uh, and Manny Pacquiao, whose fight, if it had taken place, would have been the biggest fight in the welterweight division. But you have been having conversations, you know, all of that, all of the the circle of fights that have been going on in in the in the welterweight division. That this fight right here is definitely 
uh, would be the intra entree of Terrence Crawford into that group of PB PBC welterweights that have been all been fighting each other. Sean Porter has fought in Danny Garcia and fought in Ke fought Keith Thurman. Manny Pacquiao has fought Keith Thurman. Uh, Errol Spence Jr. has fought Sean Porter and Danny Garcia. They've all been fighting each other, and the only missing piece to that to that portion to that scenario is Terrence Crawford. So. But why would it necessarily go? Why is it going to um, to purse bid? I have my own personal beliefs, and I think it's a combination of top rank probably being a little bit cheap, and maybe the PBC being a bit stubborn. Um, it seemed to me that when Bob Arum heard that the fight was going to be made or was ordered between the WBO ordered uh, by the WBO that he was actually pretty excited and thought that this was an okay an occasion for the where those guys could probably make a little bit of money where they could do a pay-per-view show and it could be a joint pay-per-view show between ESPN and Fox so they were going so that's kind of the vision that he had for it and I just believe that Bob Arum wants that would prefer to have that fight because it's the last con it's the last fight on the contract for Terrence Crawford and uh Terrence Crawford's top rank con uh, contract and an opportunity for him to make some money off of off Terrence Crawford. But on the other side, you have the PBC and the PBC may very well be feeling like, um, number one, you could have Sean Porter, who who could be like, look, man, I don't know about this 60, 40, the 60, 40 split, which I, you know, and the pay-per-view, because I know that Sean Porter in the past has been a very stubborn negotiator and it and actually in the fight between Errol Spence Jr. and 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 Sean Porter the reason that the fight got on pay-per-view my understanding is is because Sean Porter was pushing for that fight to be pay-per-view and Errol Spence Jr. beginning didn't necessarily think the fight was was really you know a pay-per-view worthy fight so they actually had to go through that whole negotiations to get that there so, but then another reason that the PBC might be feeling stubborn is that there may be some truth to that other side of the street type of thing where they feel like they could find a fight for, you know, depending on the price that they're asking for, right? Because a 60-40 split when the pay-per-view is getting done by by Fox, they may feel like, you know, our fighter deserves a bigger split of the pie on a pay-per-view that is being, you know, uh, put forward and it's is going to get put forward by Fox because I because I don't know of ESPN doing pay per views. Fox is going to carry the majority of the of the expense for the pay per view. At least that's my understanding. So they may feel like no, that the they need to give up more give up more uh, on the on the top rank side. But at the end of the day, it does just the fact that it's going to purse bid makes it more susceptible to be getting stolen by somebody else progressive you know possibly the zone or triller now i wouldn't necessarily think the zone would really be in the in the market for it but perhaps they are and triller seems like this could be the perfect perfect thing for triller because this is a, one of the biggest fights that i mean this is a bigger fight than what triller spent their money on which was the tiafimo lopez versus cambosis fight but they may just feel like you know tiafimo lopez is a younger star that you know they may be able to you know do more with them down the line i'm not sure but whatever the case is now that it's going to purse bid you know it's opened up to everybody else so i'm i'm hoping that this fight comes through that's my thought on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.